Hi, I'm Ed Cawthorn, and I'm going to discuss today IDEs. Now, the beauty behind an IDE is it's an integrated development environment. Everybody's been using IDEs for years upon years upon years, and most people don't refer to them as that. A good example of an IDE is Microsoft Word and Excel. It gives you a lot of utility associated with Microsoft Word and Excel. Among other things, if you're like me, and you can't spell or, or do grammar because you just can't do it, it's just not there. It allows you to, it does spell checking for you, it does grammar checking for you, it offers you a lot that increase your productivity. That's what an IDE is, it increases your productivity. Come on baby. Here, oh, went the wrong way. Here at the Manchester Community College, we primarily use two IDEs. One, a NetBeans IDE for Java because it's free and it's a download and it comes with an SDK and an engine that will compile for you and a display, uh, a display feature that, that makes it a lot easier to use. A JDK is a Java development kit. That's the compiler you need. That's, that's a Java including the compiler. The other is Microsoft Visual Studio 2010. This is a product of Microsoft. It gets downloaded from Microsoft. It's installed already on your virtual machine. Once you download your virtual machine and you get Microsoft Studio 2010, then you can do compiling and programming in VB, C Sharp. You can do XML. You can do HTML. You can do a lot of different things in it. It's a very handy utility to have hanging around. Once you've done these classes, I would not kill off your virtual machine because, because of Microsoft Visual Studio. The end.